you know, great game. LSU's got a great basketball team. I told the staff before the game that we were going to play really well to beat them. And, um, you know, I really believe that, that our team was prepared to beat them. We had a chance to beat them. And um, we didn't make the plays we had to make. You know, you, you get a layup, you get a layup at the rim, and then you, you, then you get a, you know, wide open looks. And, um, you know, Shaquilla and, and, and Gracie both have shut the ball really well for us all year. And the thing I was telling them is just keep shooting it. Because they're playing zone, they were really packing it in there. We had to get them spread out, and you just had to believe one of those were going to go. And they didn't today, but we'll get better from it. We'll keep improving. And and um, I hate that we didn't win this game because we played hard enough to win it, and we just we got to keep improving. How do you continue? I mean, to play so close against good teams, come up short, and they come back and continue to give you a strong effort? You know, it's just I think it's all part of um, our mentality as a team and our process. I talk about our process a lot. And um, – we're not letting anything defeat us. We're going, to, we're going to play to the final buzzer, the final game, and we're going to play everybody real tough, and, and we're going to win some of these games, and we may lose some. And I told the team, don't worry about being 1-6. Worry about being 1-1 one one in this 11-game season. Before the Mississippi State game, I told them we have 11 games left. We were 1-0 after the Mississippi State game. We lost today. Now we're 1-1. One one. Um, my challenge to them is we've got to have a winning record after these 11. And so we've got nine left. And if we'll have a winning record after these 11, then, then we got a chance to play in the postseason with NIT. And we're going to keep fighting every single day to have a winning record. And, um, you know, we're not really focused on where we're at right now, 1-6. and six. That's not where we want to be at. But like you said, we've played a lot of close games. We're, as easy as we're 1-6, and six, we could be 5-1. and one. Very easy. And, you know, or 6-1, and one, whatever it is. And we could have easily flipped that around because every game, really except Tennessee, with three minutes to two minutes to go, we had a chance to win it. And we've got to figure – we're work, We're watching a lot of film, and we're working real hard on trying to figure out how to make that next play. And these kids, I mean, they're hurt in there. They were hurt. They wanted this one. They played hard enough to get it. They were, they were hurt, and I'm proud of them. And we'll, we'll regroup, and we'll go back and watch some tape tomorrow, and we'll get ready to go on t um, Tuesday for practice um, to play another really good team in South Carolina, another top 15 opponent. And, um, and so we've got – you know, it's just part of this league. So you, you, there's nowhere to hide. Well, you've been in this league, being in Kentucky as assistant. Uh, yep. it, it seems to be it gets better and better from top to bottom. It gets stronger it, and stronger. It does. Every year it's stronger. And um, it's just getting better and better, and that's why recruiting is so important. That's why I'm really excited about where we're at um, with our recruiting uh, process right now and the three young ladies we already have signed. Um, you know, I'm just real excited about where we're going because, you know, it comes down to the last three minutes. You got to – it's 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 uh, girl against girl. You got to make a play. You got to outplay the girl that's guarding you, or you got to – or you got to make a play on top of them um, whenever the, you're guarding them. And so that's what this league comes down to. Last three minutes comes down to, or am I better than you? Am I tougher than you? And um, we've got to start getting those stops. And we were there today. We got those stops. But they were so big in there. And our kids were in there boxing out. And we just couldn't pull that rebound in that we needed to pull in um, in the crucial times. What happened offensively those, those last four minutes? You had chances down one, down three. Yeah. You know, we had, we had, we had some good looks. We had a layup there. Um, I think that could have put us up one or maybe cut it to one. I'm not real for sure um, at the time. Do you know? I think it may have put us up one. You talking about foul run? Yeah. It would put you up. It would have put us up one, but I think it was about two minutes to go there. And, you know, you get a wide open layup at the rim, a wide open. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't draw one up better than that. And they executed. We got what we want. Tiff Aller has made that so many times. And that's why she's hurting her right now because, um, you know, but here's the thing. That layup didn't cost us. That layup didn't cost us. That would have helped. That would have helped. And she's hurt right now in there because she wanted to make that layup for her team. And I guarantee you on Thursday, she'll make that layup. She'll make that layup when she needs to. But the, just plays like that, we got looks. Um, Shaquilla Joseph gets an open three there. Um, how many times have we seen her make those? Over and over, and she just makes them. And so we're, we're getting – we got the shots we want. It just wasn't our night tonight making them. You know, it's like there's a lid on it. But we, we're, it's not going to stop us from doing the same thing on Thursday. We're going to go get those same looks on Thursday, and guess what? We'll probably make them on Thursday. And so we're just going to keep battling every day. Today you faced one of the best bigs in the conference. How do you think Tia and Shaquilla did guarding her? They did a great job. I, um, you know, I don't know how many she ended up with, 23. She's a great player. Um, I've known her again for a long time. I recruited her at Kentucky. Um, I was hurt when she didn't come play for me up there. She's a great kid, a great basketball player, a very dominant player on the block. She can make plays uh, on the block. She can step out and shoot the three. Um, I mean, that, that's a kid that's going to be a first-round draft pick. 
in this upcoming WNBA draft. And I have a lot of respect for her game. And Tia and, 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 and Shaquilla both and Mo Jackson and Kenyatta Jenkins, all of them that got in there, they battled her. They battled her. But that kid's real good. They battled her. We were in position. She made plays. We made her make plays. And that's tough because, you know, she made some tough shots. She made some tough moves around the basket. They had three people on her. Um, we were in position. She just made a play. And, you know, when you play a great player, they're going to make plays from time to time. So I was real proud of our kids and how they battled. And then we're close. We're close. We're real close. And we just got to keep working hard. Last question. What's the team bouncing back after a very emotional win that they gave you the kind of effort that they gave you today? It says a lot about them. It says a lot about them. I agree. It says a lot about them to bounce back and to give that effort uh, after a, a real emotional win. And you had kids play 45, 43 minutes. And they came back out, and you, you couldn't tell a difference in how they played tonight as how they, how they played on, on Sunday on Thursday. And they just they worked every possession until the last possession. And, um, you know, we're right there, and we're just going to keep fighting. I don't know. I don't know when we're going to break through, but we'll break through. We'll break through and start winning those close ones. And um, that, this loss right here is not going to make us go back and change our process. We're going to go back, and we're right there two minutes to go. How can we make that layup? How can we get that rebound? How can we get that stop when the ball's rolled on the floor? We'll go back and watch that on tape, and we'll keep watching that because we'll grow from this, and you never know. Strange things have happened in this league over the, over the course of this league. You know, you've had teams that started 1-5, and 1-6, and, and all of a sudden they make a big run there late. I've seen teams that were just out of it, and they get to the SEC tournament and went four in a row. I mean, it's just strange things have happened in this league, and you never can give up. You just got to keep fighting every day because you just don't know what, what, what's, what's ahead for you, and we're just going to keep fighting. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.